to be honest, there was also another uh, dex, two largest dexes on Sol, another one is called Orca. Orca Wapool! So for Orca, uh, okay, you won't see it here. You're probably going to see it because there's not much liquidity here. So if you look at Orca on, let's say, gate, right? There was a very nice squeeze that came. Very, very nice squeeze. All right, you see this? What a beauty. What a beauty. Lower highs, lower highs, lower highs, lower, 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 and high lows, high lows, it was a squeeze. Bam! We blasted off, right? And the squeeze, right, before it blasted off, there was 102 days. You had 102 days to make a move for it you know, when it was in consolidation. This is a beautiful chart pattern. Beautiful chart pattern, but I wasn't aware of Whirlpool at that point. Uh, and then after that, yeah, it just blasted off, right? Uh, you could have gone in, in, okay, let's say for example, right? Replay! Let's go back. Go back in time, right? So you might see something like this. <gasps> oh my god, there's a completion of an E, right? A, B, C, D, E. <gasps> and we're both the skinny pink line. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think so, right? Uh, Where was this? 27 days. You made an entry, let's say, in July, right? You made an entry. Let's go! What happened? No, we didn't go. But the thing is, Look at the skinny pink line, right? As long as we are above the skinny pink line, remain with a bullish bias. And of course, liquidity is low. You can see stray weeks here and there. So liquidity was actually pretty low over here. Uh, and after that, uh, yeah, in October, something miraculous happened. And you wouldn't know if and when it happens. It, it just moves very suddenly. Oh, that's it. That's a breakout. You see that? We're nicely accumulating over here. Consolidating. And then the breakout happens. That's it. It's go time. It's go time. So you had 100 days to make a move. It's never too late. To be honest, even if we break out, uh, you can always wait for a retrace. Right? It'll be very... Uh, not as obvious, right? Uh, but yeah, usually you'll find rest periods. Right? Uh, and even when we break the big mega resistance, usually there'll be a retrace as well before we continue higher. So, yeah, and again, if you got in anywhere here, this would have been a 900, 900% trade. It's almost a 10x. If you had a 1,000 here, you would have 19 at the top. Sorry, what am I talking about? 9,000, right? So, yeah, almost 10,000. I think we're going to go higher. Again, just follow the simple rule of uh, staying above the skinny pink line. As long as we're above the skinny pink line, stay for bullish bias. Is it time to be making moves for Arca? No, you move on. Right. Unless, of course, you know what you're doing, right? If you're trading and all, sure. Uh, I think there's still some more meat towards the upside. We'll probably go towards $14, $15. But, yeah, again, the big the big chunk of the move has already been done. So, if I had to guess, right, there's the top, there's the bottom. We're more than halfway there. Moves should have been made when it's down. <laughs> Not when it's above halfway. So, but, yeah, anyway, it is what it is. So, there you go. Yes, I'm aware of radium.